Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, and welcome to an edition of Agro Frost. Alright, we've got what's going on today. If you recall from the previous episode, we were working away on this field right here. And we had our combine set up and ready to go, so let's go ahead and just send them on the nearest spot here. And let's hop into our Ursus and go unload that combine. And of course, I set my <laughs> settings to something else. So there'll be a brief pause momentarily. And do that, that, and there we go. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, for Euro Truck and for Farmson, there's slightly different settings. Uh, so whenever I <laughs> have to switch between the two, I have to make sure that I uh, adjust it just slightly. It's not a big adjustment, but it's just a, it's annoying enough to have to remember to do it all the time, which is kind of funny actually. So, all right. Apparently, my hard worker or my course play guy is missing just a little bit of corn. It's not doing too bad. It's around the edges, the turns. He seems to be missing them a little bit, uh, which is always the case. That was actually a lot more than I thought it would be when we get a cab here because I know people like to see the out of cab experience alright there we go yeah it definitely is it appears to be on the uh... really? apparently that's not uh... apparently that's not far enough away for this guy Okay. maybe this doesn't accept corn that would be kind of funny actually I'd be really surprised. Oh, I know why, actually. I know exactly why. Watch this. If I stop this driver and then hit with the bullet button, is it start dumping? Yeah. It is this track, this combine. It's with course play. I totally forgot. I couldn't remember which one it was. Uh, but if you recall, like, earlier on in the season, I mentioned about this tra this combine and course play and how it doesn't like it very much. Um, it didn't like it very much, I should say, in... Uh, 2013, but uh, unfortunately, it does the same thing here. So it won't. Un I don't know why it doesn't automatically unload. Um, if it's a high worker, it's not a problem. But if it's course play, it doesn't like it. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure why that's the case, but it'll do. It'll. It's funny because it'll drive around. It'll drive around no problem, but it'll. Uh, it won't unload automatically, so slightly annoying. All right, now I had a couple of people asking about. Uh, they weren't asking about it. Oof, a bit of lag there. Uh, they were asking about uh, changing up some vehicles, and I don't know. Uh, let's just check our finances. We can't really do much in terms of changing our vehicles. We've been playing. Uh, been buying too much stuff. I don't know if we even have much in the storage. Just, just check quickly. No, I didn't think so. The biomass heating plant with wood chips is our best bet. And silage is on sale. Yeah, we don't have any silage anyway, so. Alright, that's fine. So I guess we're not going to be able to change the equipment around too much. I figure who asked me to do that. They're like, Ian, could you please change the equipment? And I'm like, sure. And then I realized I didn't... Actually, I should say I didn't realize how much money we didn't have. Uh, which would have been nice, but... Uh, wouldn't be the first time I've done something like that. Where I'd be like, hey, we should change this out. And I'm like, yeah, it's a great idea. And then it's like, oh, yeah. About that. Uh, not enough money, unfortunately, to go ahead and make those changes. So I'll keep that in mind. I'll have to make some changes soon. Whoa, what the heck did we hit there? Oh, maybe it's the weight, actually. That wouldn't... Yeah, that looks... Yeah, it doesn't... that seems to be what it is. It's... Uh, it's... Uh... Hmm, that's interesting. It must be because... It's... Well, it's lifted up, so I don't know why it would be... Uh... Hmm, that's interesting. So it must be because uh, it's just... It's just low enough, so the actual collision box is probably just a wee bit bigger than the actual weight itself. So what's probably happening is the weight's colliding with the ground, even though they're not that close, but they're just close enough, which is kind of frustrating, so. 
Well, that's, uh, that's interesting. That's an interesting little observation. I, I can only assume that's the reason why it's doing it. Uh, because up here it's fine, like on these ruts, but back there, those are much deeper ruts. And I guess the reason why is just because, um, because they're deeper ruts, uh, it can collide that much easier, I guess. Oh yeah, this is ready to go. I totally forgot. And I'm pretty sure all of our trees are... I did. We did have some money at the end of last episode, I'm pretty sure, but what ended up happening is I bought more trees. Um, as you can see, I so I increased the size of the orchard just a wee bit. Uh, as I mentioned initially, the idea behind this is to have this whole field in orchard, as an orchard. Uh, so, so far we have a half dozen or tri dozen trees or so. So hopefully we will get to, that'll make us some nice little bit of money. And hopefully our shop down in the town will do its job accordingly, which would be nice. Uh, but let me just check to see what the situation is. Three is ready to go, one's ready to go. And we only have one combine. Ah, there's a mod I should have picked up actually. There's a rental mod I could have gotten. Uh, which would have been kind of cool to get, because um, if I gotten that, if I had gotten the rental mod, I would have been able just to rent a combine for the day. But I totally forgot about it. I believe TCGG Rob has played with that particular one. Uh, I know he uh, actually no, it wasn't TCG Rob. I'm thinking of it was uh, David Oldfield, I believe, in one of his series. In what one of his series? He only has one series, as far as I know. But I believe he was using the rental mod there. Um, trying that out. It's a pretty cool little mod. I haven't played with it much, so I don't know. I'm not super familiar with it. And I haven't got a chance to check out uh, that particular episode yet, just because computer troubles on the weekend, so fiddling around with that, troubleshooting and whatnot, so that's what kept me busy uh, during that time. But um, uh, that's why I haven't. I actually didn't get a chance to watch much over the last weekend, which is unfortunate because. I tend to watch a big bulk of uh, YouTube videos on the weekend. But, oh well. It's always next weekend, I guess. And during the week, I suppose. It's funny, because in the morning I have time to watch videos, but I generally don't. Uh, and that's primarily because... Let's turn around here. And that's primarily because I... Uh, I tend to record in the morning, so... It just depends. Uh, not close enough yet, apparently. There it is. Uh, and that's just primarily because I tend to record in the morning as opposed to watch. Although there are times when I tend to watch, uh, it just depends. Alright, fine, I guess we're going to go this way. And then this way, there we go. Um, yeah, so it just depends on the day. But most days I tend to... Uh, most days I tend to uh, record in the morning. Unless I'm really tired, which doesn't happen too often. Like today, technically I'm quote-unquote, not really tired, but just more tired than normal. Not because it's Monday, but just because it didn't sleep well. These things happen, I suppose. Alright, so which field are we heading out to? Uh, we are heading out to field 11 or 12 or 23, okay. Uh, which is not this way, which is the complete opposite way. Alright. It's funny, this, um, last time I recorded an episode when I didn't have the steering wheel hooked up and I had this, uh, some keyboard steering mod on. Uh, I had a couple of, I think it was Lee who said, it's like, it might have been Lee, I can't remember. He was like, oh my gosh, Ian, next time you play uh, with, it, with that particular mod on and uh, you're playing, take that off. I think someone said something that you could turn it off. Let's see, so. Was it Shift C? Oh, it is. Well, oh, there you go. So I'll have to remember that. So you can turn it on and off. With Shift C, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, cool. I think it was Bubba who mentioned that one, I believe. So thank you, Bubba. I think that's who it was. Oh, that's really cool. You can just toggle it on and off if you want to. So I guess if you're, if I forget to, to hook up the keyboard, or forget hook up the the uh, not the keyboard, but if I forget to hook up the steering wheel once in a while, that would be a good little alternative. Alright, so this is a no-till drill, and we should check on our 56%. Well, he's made a mess of the corners. I guess this is a scenario where I should have used Auto Tractor, but it's too late now. 
Uh, it's too late, but I'm not that worried about it. You miss a little bit of corn, eh, whatever. But, uh, once, it's funny, once he gets, uh, once the turns are all done, the straights, no problem. I never understood that, but just the way it goes. Alright, let's hop back into this guy right here. And we need to turn it on. We need to unfold it. Oh my gosh, I, can't, I still can't believe that first time. Let's make sure that wheel is unfolded. No, it is unfolded ready. And then, let's fire this guy up. Uh, so what should we plant here, first of all? Let's plant, I think, it looks like wheat or barley was there. Can't plant soybeans. Why do I even have these options of different things? I don't... Last time I checked, this map doesn't support all that stuff. Grass, sugar beets, yeah, I didn't think so. Soybeans is not on this map. This is another map. Uh, I think we'll plant canola. If I try to plant anything else, it's going to just, you know, not like it. Alright, so let's lower that down. And let's find out the GPS mod here. Uh, because... I am terrible without the GPS mod. Fairly terrible. Alright, let's see if we can't straighten this guy out. So we'll do this, and we'll do this. And let's bring up the information a little bit. And let's just adjust. Shift. No, we want to rotate. There we go. And we also want to adjust and take the offset off. There we go. There we go. Nice. As I'm sure I've mentioned before, it, it it always makes me laugh with uh, the GPS mod and the way it works with other mods. Well, with the steering wheel, I should say, specifically. Alright, let's make a turn here. It's funny, I don't. <laughs> you don't realize how bad you are at turns until you start turning around. Uh, when you, leave, you start trying to tr try to turn around, um, what I could do actually is I could just make the turn for it. Uh, does it have it skip three lanes? I suppose I could do it that way too. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right let's turn around here. And. <laughs> The GPS doesn't know where to go, apparently. But it's all good and fun. Uh, so this needs to be fertilized, it looks like. Unless it's already fertilized, I can't tell. But it still looks like the... Hmm. Looks like the edges are not done properly. Hmm. Right. Or I say the width is what I'm referring to, sorry. I think it's only three meters. Let's just check here. I'm pretty sure it's only three meters, but it's saying registering as three point. Yeah, I thought so. All right, so let's decrease the working width to. There we go. All right, let's take a turn here. Yeah, I don't know what's, uh, sometimes you have to manually input the the width of things, sometimes you don't. It really just depends on uh, the scenario. Um, I don't know, it's kind of strange how it works out. Sometimes it's fine, sometimes it's not fine. Just the way it is. As I've probably mentioned before, though, this field will be just really terrible for uh, course play, just because... While it is, while it does have straight lines, the straight lines are not uh, northeast. Oh, I already did that one. Okay, let's back up then. Um, while the straight lines, there are straight lines, they're just not the uh, <laughs> typical straight lines. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, there's not the typical ones, so I'd r I personally would probably run into problems because of that. So, uh, where's my coffee? Mm, I love the morning coffee. Some people might argue coffee makes the world go around, but 
I don't know. I just like coffee. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's the be all and end all, mind you, but it's pretty close sometimes. It feels pretty close sometimes. All right, we're looking for this one over here. Excellent. Perfect. All right, so we'll finish this pass and we'll go take a quick look at how our Kloss is getting on, because I'm pretty sure he is either close to being done or already done, so we'll have to deal with that. Uh, I'm not close to being done, I should say being full, not necessarily done. Done is definitely the wrong word here. Alright. Yeah, it's actually pushing this, uh... It's actually pushing this thing. Oh, I'm sure we'll go here. That's not what I was intending to do, but... Alright, so you are just about full, so let's hop into the Ursus here. Fire this guy up. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. And what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of weight on the front of this guy. Keep those front tires down. There we go. And he's going to stop there, so I guess we're going to have to drive him across, which I don't uh, generally try not to do, but sometimes you don't have much of a, much of a choice, really. Uh, this is pretty cool looking. Um, I have to admit, though, this is pretty cool looking corn. I have to stop the driver and then manually do it. Yeah. That's the one unfortunate thing about this combine, but if you hire, I don't know why, but if you hire a worker, not a problem. But as soon as you want to use course play, it doesn't autom doesn't uh, like to manually unload it for some strange and absurd reason. But it's just the way it is. All right, a couple people. I was just looking through the, some of the comments from the previous episode, and people seem to really like the, uh, the Nebraska map thus far, which is good to hear. Uh, so hopefully. Uh, Way. Uh, hopefully that continues on a good path, so to speak, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, so far I'm really enjoying the map, it's a nice uh, nice change uh, from other map from the other maps we were looking at. Uh, maybe we'll go into the Great Smoky Mountain map, uh, or maybe something else will come out, I don't know for sure. Uh, do we want to sell this, or do we want to hold on to it? Let's just check to see what the corn prices are like. Corn... Uh, Silos at the silos. Where are the silos on this map? Oh, we're like right here. Okay, well, let's take it right here then. Alright. Alright, sweet. Okay, so we'll sell this uh, corn up here and we'll see how it goes. And how much money we'll get. I don't know how much we will get. Uh, the nice thing about the apples is that they are they're consistent after you uh, you put them in the in the area and then you just kind of go from there basically which is kind of cool in my opinion. I like that fact. Maybe what we'll do is we'll get some sheep on this map because uh, I don't know. Well it's funny, every map I play on, I realize I end up preparing for cows, inevitably. Uh, let's just go through the shop here. And this is going to say fuel, I suppose. Ah, oh, we missed it anyways. Ah, so this is the shop area. And this is where you can refuel, it's going to say. And a uh, nice little sh shop type area, which is kind of cool. There are more coins in there, apparently. A good place to do a Yui, or... I guess. So, alright. Let's put this guy over here, back in the field, and we'll go from there. And our Kloss seems to be doing alright now, after he's gone off, gone all over all those places. It's funny, with the, the tracks, you can really see where he's been and where he hasn't been. So you can see where I've driven and where he's driven, and uh, the differences. <laughs> Obviously, he's just, he drives a lot straighter than I do, that's for sure. Um, 
But I expect that. He's a computer, essentially, and I'm a person. I'm not nearly as good as driving in a straight line as he is. Oh, with the advent of things like uh, the G with GPS and uh, auto steer, easy steer, and all that jazz. Uh, it's definitely changed quite a bit, so that's for sure. It uh, used to be, you know, you just look at something in front of you, look at the, like for example, if I were driving this tractor, you know, keep an eye on that uh, flag up there and just drive as straight as possible, but nowadays it's not uh, not as easy as that. Nowadays you definitely have to, uh, <laughs> you definitely have to, have to be a bit more accurate than that. Well, you don't have to be. Uh, if you want to be cost efficient, I should say, it's better to be ac more accurate with your planting and whatnot. Uh, of course, because if you can be more accurate, you can theoretically save more money because you are planting seeds where they need to be, not where you think they need to be. Uh, I suppose it's easier to tell when you're actually planting. Like here, it's easy, quote-unquote, for me to tell because I, I you can see where I've planted uh, because this is a no-till drill. And the places that don't look like they've been planted, it's because they haven't been tilled, essentially. Uh, but... If we were uh, doing this in real life, it would be probably even easier to tell, I suppose. Whoops, we want to go on that line right beside the one we're on. Let's go there. Perfect. There we go. Excellent. So hopefully what we'll do is... uh we got 12 grand for that. It's not too bad, actually. A little bit of cash for the corn, so hopefully uh, what we'll be able to do is make some more money off the wheat that we have planted down. Wheat or barley, I think it is. Uh, and then from that, we'll be able to hopefully upgrade a couple, upgrade a couple pieces of our equipment because, uh, as somebody pointed out, we haven't really upgraded much in this. I've done like 15 episodes, and this happens from time to time. Like I realize this, I'm like, I don't move very quickly through the uh, through the equipment just because like some maps you don't really need to upgrade a crazy amount. Um, and this feels like one of those maps where you don't really need to get uh, super, super big equipment. So I guess that's the reason why it feels like I, I don't feel the need to change the equipment as much. Like, if you're on, like, a big map like Region of Texas and you're using this type of equipment, it's like, you know, okay, you really need to change now because the uh, it just takes too long to get things done. Uh, especially when it's like, okay, you just spent, you know, three hours real life seeding one field and you're like, yeah, I think I want to upgrade the equipment. Well, that's how I end up finding out. I'm like, that's, that's enough. I, uh, <laughs> I don't want to spend that much time doing that. As much as I like big, big maps, but that's what happens every now and then because you get one of those, you get one of those big fields and you're just like, oh my goodness, that is a crazy amount of, you know, fill in the blank basically. Whether that be hay or straw, whatever it happens to be, but inevitably it does happen. Alright, let's get this little strip over here. It's funny, I wonder if I would turn up the, the force feedback enough. I wonder if I would make the wheel turn um, when I adjust, when I put in the GPS mod. I'd be kind of interested to see if that does that or not. Right now I have it set to 25% uh, think it's center strength, so it's like when I move away from the center, it uh, resists a little bit, uh, which I, which actually I like. It's not it's not a crazy amount, but it feels a bit more realistic in the sense of before it was just a it was like really really light, so I didn't even didn't even seem like I was driving, so to speak, which I'm not, I suppose, but it's just that feeling. So it has a more realistic feeling for me at least, just because I'm used to driving a car. I haven't really driven too many trucks in real life. The biggest truck I think I've driven is like a U-Haul cube van. And that was uh, not scary, but uh, that was enough. Uh, driving in town with that thing was <laughs> interesting, that's for sure. Alright, uh, we don't need to do that. Let's turn back around, I guess. And... Let's just drive all over. Jeez. Yeah, it, this uh, cedar just pushes this tr tractor just a little bit. Uh, maybe because this tractor is just a wee bit underpowered. 
It's hard to tell if that is the reason or not, but it definitely feels like it. There we go. It definitely feels like uh, that happens. Like when I when I'm trying to slow down a little bit, the the, uh, the cedar will push just just enough. Anyways, we'll finish up this line and the next one right beside it, I think, and then we'll call it an episode. But before we do, it's only at 27%. Okay, good thing he's getting all that extra little bits and pieces there. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's kind of weird. Okay, whatever. I'll let him just continue on doing what he's doing, I guess. Because I guess he's got... I guess what's happening is he's done most of the field already, and then these parts he's going to go up and down. Uh, actually, I can see exactly what he's doing. Yeah, he's going to do this, basically. I uh, get some of the extra pieces. As long as he doesn't go in the little ditch here, which I think he might. Yeah, that's not cool. How many more points does he have to go? Oh, about 20 points. So yeah, he's gonna go up and down here. It looks like. So you know what? I will just do that because that will be uh, just just slightly more efficient. Let's close course play here so I can see what I'm doing. Is this turned on? Yep, apparently it is. Excellent. It's so funny, <laughs> with the drive control mod, uh, obviously I changed the uh, the sound setting. So when I'm inside this combine, um, it's really, really quiet. <laughs> like, you don't even realize I'm in, in a combine, basically. And for whatever reason, like the, this combine and like other combines is really, really quiet in comparison to um, most of their vehicles. I think the reason why is just because... Um, I think the reason why is because this one doesn't have like a... A PTO setup like the other tractors do so the engine doesn't wind up as much I guess I don't know that's my only guess like I know in real life that's not the case at all because combines are equally as loud um, but my guess is just because in the game it's the reason um, that's all I can, that's all I got so all right let's get this little patch here and then we'll get the patch behind us and hopefully we will have gotten all of it all right, uh, sure, let's get this little bit here. And then we'll come back around get that a little bit there. Nope, I definitely like being in cab better for this. Uh, but that's just my point of view. I don't know, now that, now that I have the graphics setting turn up, uh, I, even, I want to play in cab a lot more, uh, I realized. And then that plus the steering wheel, it made it... Uh, Makes me want to play in cab often. The only time I don't want to play in cab is when I have to back up with some vehicles because it's rather annoying because they're not made. Like there's no. Um, just I think it's because the better steering mod. Because it's like when you back up with a better steering mod, it looks behind you. So if you're in the cab in a combine, looking behind you is not helpful because you look into the grain tank. Um, and backing up, looking into the grain tank is not helpful at all. Let's get the last little bit here. Sure, let's do a little big circle. That's good enough. Alright. There we go. I think we got most of it. I'm not too worried about the rest of it. Alright, let's put the pipe out. And... We'll just drive over to the... We oh, missed a chunk there. Oh, whatever. You got the majority of it. That's all I mat that's all that matters. Alright, so drop this off here. Here we go. Excellent. Alright folks, so I think we'll call it there for the time being. My name's Ian Rops and this has been Pharma Simware 2015 coming at you from Agrofrost. I will catch you guys later.